Fantasy Bird and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It has been a couple weeks since I've last played. I actually really posted the last two episodes pretty recently. I recorded those and then totally forgot that I had recorded them and just didn't upload Breath of the Wild in a while because of it. I'm sorry, I know I'm silly sometimes. I know we are uh, looking around for more towers. We are heading towards it this way, I believe. Um, a lot of you were helpful in suggesting that I should probably go to the flying uh, divine beast next, which I think is the way I'm heading. So hopefully that's the case. Uh, oh, there was this, ah, ah, never mind. I was gonna say those are some birds in the flying away. No need to panic. There is a need to panic. We also got the very cool great flame blade. I don't know if I ever want to use it ever. I want to keep it around just so that I, it's really cool. Uh, but yeah, I gotta sort of relearn how to play the game for a couple of moments, but I should be able to pick it up pretty quick, I think. Whoa, whoa, problems. Uh, maybe not pretty quick, but we'll drop that. I'll run away, and then, bada boom, it'll at least get rid of one of the big dudes. And do I wanna use my arrows? Probably not, so we'll go ahead and boom, get you a little bit. Oh, that was really good. Okay, we got rid of all of them. Just some choo-choo jelly, which is pretty good. I was not expecting those big guys just to pop up like that, though. I was hoping I could uh, cook some food. I don't wanna to have to take care of you, but I do need some food really badly right now. Oh, I feel bad for doing that. But uh, <laughs> let us go this way. Is that a rock or is that an animal? Oh, that's a bird. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Bird, this is the last one I'll do. Oh, I feel awful. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Pick up the drumsticks. And do we have anything that might be useful for knocking down this tree? Not really, but I could just go ahead and use a cobble crusher, it should work. Maybe not. This is a tough tree. I should have some wood in my inventory. I'll check it out in a moment. Regardless, I might start posting less episodes but making them longer. Uh, I'm sort of balancing out the idea. Let's see. Um, okay, so we do have some wood. I'm gonna go ahead and hold that and then just drop it. And then, hold on, don't roll down the hill. It's rolling down the hill. Let me find some flat ground where I might be able to put this. This whole area is like a big old hill. Uh, closer to the ocean should be good. Ooh, it looks like we might be able to get a Korok seed over there. A lot of you have been telling me to get more shrines as well. I'd like to get one more tower if that's okay. Then maybe we can go shrine hunting. I know there are a lot to get to that I could do. I don't always enjoy doing the shrines. Like Sometimes they're nice, sometimes they're just sort of pain in the booty. I'm a, a lot more of a bigger fan of action in this game than I am the shrines. But obviously the shrines do make the game easier because we can get more things from it. Now I need to drop a flint. This is an opal. Uh, flint, flint. A hold, drop, and then should just be able to, hiya. Yeah, it worked. Okay, so I could sit by the fire, that might be nice. Uh, well actually, let me try cooking some food first. Seems like that would be very helpful, but if I uh, just, I don't really need anything super fancy, I just need to cook the meat that I have. Uh, I don't know if cooking mushrooms really helps or not. What kind of raw meat might, might I have sitting around? I wish there was like a way to, is there a button? Oh yeah, I can sort. Oh, look at that. I never even knew that was a thing. Um, Here, there we go. So I was trying to put that stuff away. I'll hold the meat for now. I can always get more meat if I really, really need it. Okay, that's all I can hold for now. That's okay. Drop this stuff and it should cook. Uh, oh, I'm on fire too. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Pick it up, pick it up before it burns. Very nice. Okay, so that's just a bit more cooked food that I can have around. And we're just gonna sit until morning. And everything should be good with that. I don't know if the game like, ends up making like you get back up and there's just monsters around. Did that restore my health at all? It did not. I guess only sleeping in a bed will do that. Uh, what should I drink here? I might want to sell some of these fireproof elixirs. I like literally do not need them. Hmm. I don't want to eat something big and fancy if I don't need to, so maybe I should move back and maybe I should have cooked an apple or two. I mean, I have some apples to eat, but I should have cooked some probably. I'm not gonna fill my my health all the way then. I do have more flint, I could do that as well. Okay, <laughs> just trying to get my bearings in the game. I might be a little slow for a little bit. Uh, I can move this, oh no, that's the time stopping thing. All right, you know what, I'm gonna, uh, this isn't working. Uh, why is that not working? Weird. Okay, is it, Magnesis can move this? Magnesis cannot move this. What is going on here? I don't have, yeah, there's like no way to hit it. Okay, I, mean, I could try to swim across, I should be okay. I'm just trying to get to the blocks over here. I don't know if it'd be easier to probably climb up the mountain from there on out and just keep moving that way. Cause I feel like, yeah, that's the way I wanna go. That way I, uh, 
can get myself, oh gosh, the current is a little scary, but I should be able to make it okay, especially if I move with the current, I should just be able to diagonally go across this way, and got it, hooray, <laughs> we made it. So what is going on with this one? It looks as though, hmm. Oh, I see. So where is this extra, ah, camera. Where is this extra block at? You can see that there's one there. Or maybe it's not that I have to find an extra block. Oh, hey dude, what do you want? Uh, yeah, that was cool. All right then, so my cobble crusher is a bit damaged, now I gotta be careful. What, what thing am I looking for here? Not this. I mean, what if I did something like that? Would I be able to raise these? No, of course not. Hmm. That is odd, where, let me go back to the Magnesis. Somewhere around here there might be one of those, oh, oh, right here, ready, found it, the hidden block. So this has to go not here, but over here. I'm gonna pull it a little closer. This is also, I think, my first time playing Breath of the Wild with a pro controller, which is pretty cool. Oh, oh, <laughs> not quite, almost there though. Uh. Perfect, okay, so give me that Korok seed. I will gladly take it. Yeah, you found me, another Korok seed. Very, very cool. Okay, so yeah, I think the smartest thing is like there's so many different ways we could travel in this game and it gets a little crazy trying to find the best one, but maybe I should climb up here. Oh, this area looks like it might actually be a little toasty, so we'll have to be wary of that. But uh, for now, just trying to make my way up here, because I saw this bridge, I feel like maybe it'd be easier to travel from above, because then of course we could see where we're going, where we want to go, if we want to change our path at all. Oh geez, oh geez. Oh, oh, oh no. Okay, hold on, hold on Link. Yeah, just right here, right here, perfect. Okay, so I sort of gave up a little, a little bit earlier than I was expecting. But we should be able to just ready, set, super jump. Yeah, come on, dude, what's your problem? No, no. Ugh, this is probably an easier way. I just gotta get used to climbing again. But if I play the game more from here on out, I won't have to, it'll be easier. But uh, as, as long as I don't jump. If I don't jump, things get a little easier. Uh-oh, rain clouds are coming in. The weather's changing. When the weather outside gets frightful, it's not too delightful. Okay, so yeah, now we're up here. There is a big old bridge. I don't know if that bridge is in one piece. Whoa, who's that? Oh, hey, it's a little musician. And there's a spot I had located. Maybe, might be uh, farther than I think. Wow, and this is like a whole area up here. I thought that we were just getting on top of a mountain. There's another tower there. I'm not gonna be able to get to that one anytime soon. I don't think that's a lot in the other direction. There are the towers I've been looking for. Yeah, that's the tower I have marked, okay. So we'll try to get there in today's episode. Jetto Bridge, very cool. This place is actually pretty concerning. Uh. Oh, I hear his music. <laughs> I like it. I want to go say hi to him. He seems like a great dude. This bridge is creeping me out though. I have a feeling it's gonna fall at any moment, but it didn't. It held through for us. Wow, this area is really cool. Oh, I like this a whole lot more than what we, I mean, I guess it is pretty similar to what we've already traversed, but I still like it. Uh, Hey, dude, can I talk to you? How are you doing up there? Oh, do you have a task for me, Cass? Hi. Oh. I did not hear you approach. I was lost in this song written by my late teacher. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. He passed away several years ago, you see, and this was his last song he taught me. Excuse me, I fear I may have gotten carried away. Nostalgia will do that to a person. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Sure. Excellent, without further ado. When a single arrow threads two rings, It's gonna take a little while. The shrine will rise like birds on wings when a single arrow threads. Ooh, okay, so there's a shrine we can get by doing that. Do you think the rings in the song prefer to these oddly shaped rocks? And what of the shrine? There's a mystery to be uncovered here, that's for sure, and I get the feeling the truth is beyond my wildest imagination. May the light illuminate your path. Well, thanks. The Two Rings, Shrine Quests. We can check that out. Oh, I love that song though. I like accordions, they're very cool. So there's actually more than one ring here. We need to hit two of them. So we can't do that. 
Can't quite do that. How many rings can we find around here? All right, now I just see those three. Well, I think that's gonna be it. How in the world would I do that? It has to be an arrow. And this angle ain't quite working for me either. I don't know. Hmm. That seems odd. Maybe there's like some kind of different ring you just can't quite see here, or maybe a special arrow. I am not sure. All right, well, then I'm gonna keep walking because I don't know what the, oh, oh, there's more rings over here. Okay, hold on. Wait, I can't, I'm trying to get the glider out. Whoa. There we go, wee! <laughs> Always makes traversing that a little bit more enjoyable. Okay, so taking a look at these, they are in all sorts of angles. None of which still seem very possible, but this, ah, ah, you guys always sneaking up and scaring me. Get out of here, you jerks, ready? Slice, and, wait, and, dice. <laughs> Took a while for the dice to come around, but it got there. A lot of choo-choo jelly. I don't know really what too much I'm gonna be using for this, so could I, no, that angle is not gonna work either. Oh, there's another one. Hmm, one of these has to match up, right? So I'm gonna keep running over to each one until I find something that works, that makes sense. From here, ooh, no, it's a little too close to the ground for me to angle up. Whoa, what did that say? Wait, hold on, it said press A to do something. Oh, it was A to climb down. Okay, nothing exciting. Can I break the bush? I can break the bush. Environments, I can interact with them, amazing. And with this one, Mmm, not really. One of these has to work. I'm guessing wherever you can hear the music. Oh, no, the music went away. <laughs> oh gosh. I don't know, maybe none of these. Maybe it's like really sneaky. But there are a couple of them. This one's pretty hidden over here. and wouldn't be surprised if it's something with this one. Uh, oh, I mean, maybe? <gasps> oh. Darn it. Almost, but not quite. That is so difficult to do. Ready? Huh. Oh, so close, so close. Can I, can I duck? Oh, I can. Here we go, whoop. I did it! Oh, hey, look at that, I figured it out. Oh, that's so cool. All right, shrine number whatever this one is has been found. This is the first time I've had to find a shrine, though. That is so cool. Oh, I like it. Okay, the shrine has arisen. Hey, so I'll go over there and just try to, you know, first off, activate it so I can teleport over here at any point in time, which would be awesome, the Sheem de Goes Shrine. Cool, I mean, I could hop in there now. How many orbs do I have? Oh, all the wrong buttons. I have one. I need three more then, I think we need four every time. Glad I figured that out, that was really cool. All right, so I gotta get up on that cliff if I can. Because I wanna clear up the map. The map makes things easier. I wonder if there's more than one answer to that one. I'm sure it's possible. But I found the answer that works for me. I probably shouldn't be climbing up this way, but did it work? It worked, whoa. Whoa, we got some crows. And some apples from an apple tree. Can I chop this tree down? I can. Give me those apples before they fall down the mountain. Okay. And I can chop this up, get some wood. And then I'm gonna get apples from all of these because the apples are super helpful, of course. I've used apples to restore my health more than anything else in this game. Fortunately, that one only had one apple. Oh, and a stick. I don't quite need a stick, but I'm glad it's there for me to get if I did need it. That one also only had one. This is a pretty tough weapon. I've been using to chop down trees and hasn't complained one bit. Okay, so uh, it's still over that way, but we are certainly getting closer. Bit of a jog away still. And then what other, like that one's a little too far. Cause sometimes they look closer than what they actually are. And that's sort of a bother, but what are you gonna do about it? Whoa, these are like weird mushroom things. I like it, that's cool. And there's like tinier ones over here. You know what, what? We're, we're gliding or not. The wind's not helping me with that. It was at a slightly sharper decline, we'd be fine. Or an incline, it's sort of both the same. Uh, oh, I could pick up this rock. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> what about this one? Oh, hey! It was a, uh, amber. I'll take it. Whoa, 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 what's happening down here? 
Oh. Oh, that was, uh, the Rook's protection. Here, hold on. I'm gonna help you out here if you move. Hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah! God. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, wait, hold on. I think you might be a bad guy. Gotta be careful. Uh, somehow I made it. Okay, I admit you helped. I, I didn't need it, so don't expect any thanks, but you can have this if you want. Monster extract, a result of Kilton's research into monsters. This suspicious spice can be used to punch up dishes while cooking. Apparently, it can be used to make a number of monstrous meals. So you're probably wondering what that stuff is. It's called monster extract. A guy named Kilton brews this stuff up, this stuff up at Fang and Bone. It's a kind of flavoring that makes any food taste amazing. I know it's made of monsters, but it's good stuff. There are some weird stories going around that kilt, that, about that Kilton character. He's obsessed with monsters. They say he does all kinds of hair-raising research with them and came up with a bunch of strange stuff as a result. I want to meet him at least once to see if the rumors are true, but he's a hard guy to track down. One source I trust says he's most often found at a skull-shaped lake in Akala, but I don't know the place. Hmm, interesting. I think we've heard about that character before. Uh, we got a Boko Club here. Is that, how much more damage is that than, what's my weakest weapon right now? I mean, I guess the one I have equipped. Okay, well then I'm not really too worried about getting it. Are you just gonna chill in your tent now? Okay, goodbye. Hmm, oh, there's some horses over there. Maybe I should have taken my own horse, but at the same time, I honestly think I prefer playing this game on foot. Oh, I think it's raining over there. Sort of looks like it with how the the gray is traveling down the clouds. It usually means it's raining. Hmm, did I? No, no, I'm still going the right way if I go down this. I don't know if I wanna go down that exact path because there might be something I may not be able to escape, especially since I'm trying to go up here. What is going on down there then? It looks like a whole bunch of nothing. There is a shrine down there. Hmm, okay. I wanna get the tower first. You know, the whole goal for me right now is to get this tower. I think it'll clear up a lot of information. There is that uh, flying thing still. I mean, I don't know if there's something I have to do to get there, right? Because so far that's sort of been a big thing. To get to each area, I've had to do something fancy. Uh, that At least each area that has a, uh, a uh, divine beast, I've had to learn how to swim up waterfalls, I've had to learn how to get to the volcano without burning alive, like all that kind of stuff. So what am I gonna have to learn to make everything work there? I don't know, maybe I'll just have to straight up learn how to fly. That'd be really useful. If, if he could just sprout wings and just fly around, this game would become a whole lot easier for me. That'd be very cool. I thought there's anything that would be cool in a game like this for like completing the main story, but whoa. Oh gosh. This may be a little bit more difficult than anticipated. Uh, I wanna save real quick. Hopefully we don't need to use it, but the save is there. Progress saved. Uh, but yeah, oh gosh, there's bad guys everywhere. Um, It'd be very cool if you beat the main story of this game and it gives you like the ability to fly or gives you something to ride that's like, that flies, you know, that'd be very cool in my opinion. Okay, this guy doesn't seem to see me. I'd like to keep it that way, at least uh, for this moment. If I go like this, what other arrows do I have? I do have a number of other arrows. I just don't know if I wanna use them. I mean, I could use like a frost arrow, wah, just like that, and then run up on him, and then, oh, I probably shouldn't have used a cobble crusher, but I did. Um, I could go ahead and use a spike. Bogobin Club, because these guys are gonna be tough. So if I could do a good number to them before he's like, I, I just got frozen. I gotta figure out my life real quick. Boom, wait, I missed a little bit there. Man, he's quick, he's quick, he's quick. Wait, got him. Oh no, but he's gonna drop off his stuff in the water, which is probably not where I wanna be with those dudes around. So I'm gonna go ahead and just try to sneak on over there. I really need these electric arrows. Oh, he noticed me, didn't he? Oh, maybe he didn't. Oh, oh, oh gosh, swim quick, swim quick, because these guys, they can move it in the water. Uh, oh. Oh, okay, okay, I did it, I did it, hold on. Boop, oh, that's gonna hurt him, doesn't it? Now, if I could get him to get over here, oh. Dragon Bone Boko Bow. A Boko Bow reinforced by fossils, Boko Blins handpicked the materials it's made from, so it boasts a respectable firepower. Very cool, and it's not really all that worse than the bow I already have. Oh, it's better than this one, that's for sure. Um, So I'm gonna go ahead and really quick, wait, 
Oh no, I just wasted an electric arrow. I didn't mean to do that. All I wanted to do was, uh, no, no, no. Drop this, oh gosh. Uh, bow, drop it. Equip that one for now. Hey, hold on, hold on. Uh, sure, dude, you wanna tussle? Wanna tussle? You wanna throw down? Wait, wait, stop, <laughs> let me win. No, I didn't mean to, gosh darn it, I just picked up the bow I just dropped. Drop it, pick this one up, because it's better, it does more damage. I don't need a shield. I will take the club. I'll take all those other stuff you dropped. Very cool, I hope that, I was hoping that you would drop more electric arrows, but you did not. I wanna try to go around the perimeter for now, because you can see over there there's another dude. Maybe he'll also drop electric arrows. Be very good. Oh yeah, tell me about that shrine. Oh, what is that tree over there? Just trying to check out other things I might be able to explore later. Might have already found that one. Honestly, I can't remember, but I don't know, that might not be the case. Might not be the case. Okay, electric dudes are still creeping me out. They really are weird. They just walk around the, along the water, acting like nothing can stop them. Oh, you saw nothing. Wait, oh, oh, okay, he, he saw me. Oh, wait, ah, don't waste electric arrows, sir. They are very valuable. <laughs> I'm just smacking them around. Come on, keep getting them, keep getting them. Oh, wait, don't go that way. Yeah, don't drop your stuff in the water, please. Yes, more electric arrows, five of them. Excellent. All right, so I don't really need any more bows and arrows because all their other ones are more damaging. I just gotta be careful. These guys are having an argument like, no. I want all the electric arrows. No, I want them. Or maybe they're just dancing. Maybe they're just good friends. I'm not really sure. Uh, trying to see what I can do about this. And the smartest thing would be to... What, what, what? No, 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 no. I wanted to, gosh darn, I wanted to throw it. Pick it up, dude. Wait, wait, ah! <laughs> Oh gosh darn it, his friend didn't even notice before. I could have just battled him on my own. That would have been great, it would have been perfect. Wait, 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 ah! Okay, our, our club is badly damaged and I'm gonna toss it at you. I missed, ah! Uh, okay, go ahead and do this one. Oh, you are getting low on out, so I definitely wanna try to get you. Wait, ow, oh, that hurt. Thank you, Daruk. You really saved my hide there, but I, I need you to do it again. Okay, ready, set, aim, fire. Oh. Gosh, you know what, no more. Wait, get out of here, dude. Jeez, he knows how to tussle, I'll tell you that much. Uh, whoa. Oh, he's stuck, oh, that was good. Okay, we got him. So what in the world is this? The Lizalfal's horn, and then, more importantly, the Lizal spear. How much damage does that do? Because it did a good number to me. Only seven, but it, it jabs a whole bunch. You can make that work, very good. Neither of those guys dropped any electric arrows, but they did drop some roasted bass that I'll take. Uh, then also just Boko Spears. Don't care too much about those. Uh, so where are those roasted food? Because I would really like just to eat that up really quick. Got it, okay. Hmm, I wonder if, uh, I don't know if that actually work. I don't think this mountain over here is steep enough, but it would be very nice just to be able to climb up there and we just land on the tower. I don't think it would work though. So I mean, we've been making some good progress. I think it's good to save again. Progress saved, good. I need to find a way over there that won't destroy me. And right now, it's looking like that might help if I could actually land. Okay, that's definitely gonna hurt him a little bit, but I need him to get over to me. Come on, come on over. Come on over. I don't wanna have to do any more damage, or with electric arrows at the least, and I already did. Can you come over here real quick? Come on, come on, I'm gonna dodge you all day. I'm gonna dodge you all day. You know, you don't wanna go out of the water? Fine. I probably shouldn't go into the water, but I, ow. Dude, what's your problem? Uh, dash. Okay, you know what? Oh, that didn't do much. <laughs> okay, I might wanna go get that other spear again. Is he mad at me now? Oh, he hopped out of the water with the fierceness. Oh gosh, okay. Uh, I'll deal with you in a second, hold on. Hold on. What is he doing? He's like not able to get out of the water. Maybe he's just a, a mean fish. Hey, where are you going? Hey, where are you going? Oh, there's a chest there. Or no, is that a chest or is that a rock? Or not a rock, but maybe a, uh... oh, he dropped all of his stuff and just left it. I'll take it. Um, well, I can't take it quite yet. Uh, let me swim away then. Yeah, you see me, that's what you see over here. Is this fish trying to get me? Like a piranha or something? 
Yeah, I got him that time. Whoa, he fell all the way down. Man, that was one weird Lazalfos. Lazalfos? You know what I mean. Yeah, what's with this log? I don't know. I really don't know if this is a good idea or not. I'm starting to get second thoughts. I think I'm supposed to climb on top these to get my stamina back or something. Like what happens if I, yep, I can stand on it. Can I do anything to it? I can hit it with stasis, but that's difficult to do when you're standing on a top of it. Obviously I couldn't do magnesis to a log. I think I just gotta make my way to the next one. So if I were to swim over to that, I just have to be extra careful because there'll be plenty of bad guys trying to beat me up in the meantime. Okay, that is very weird, but it feels like it's the right thing to do. So pick up all that and then try to get to the log. And then I don't wanna have to deal with those guys. Hmm, he's gonna see me soon, that's for sure. So I gotta get up here. And you can see like there's like some dude with like an electrical trident or something down there. That's scary. Oh gosh, you saw me. Don't wave at me like, hello friend. Oh, I see you. I see you, just let me get up here, and then you'll know my wrath. Hold on, hold on, it's getting very close. Okay, where'd you go? Wait, Ugh. no, I dropped my bow, I need that, that's a very powerful bow. Okay, yo, hold on. Oh, I missed. Gosh darn, I'm the worst at this game. Ugh, okay, hold on. Whoop. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to like maybe fire arrows. I don't know what hurt an electric guy more. Can you stop with the dancing? Come on. I probably am wasting way too many fire arrows with that. All right, so I already have an electric rod. That's a thing, I already have. Maybe I should be using that a bit more. I mean, it's about to be broken. I don't know if I can even, ooh, I don't know how I feel about this. Well, <laughs> just toss it on over that way, see if it hits him. Not quite. I mean, I could go and get that one, but like right now it's a bit too much to do. Uh, I see this dude. Oh, I'm not quite hitting him like that. When he's under the water, it's really tough to really see where he is. There he is with his trident. Like, that thing is scary. Okay, hold on. Got him. Got him. It's just like, doesn't do much to him. Oh, hold on. Okay, I'm starting to get into some big problems here. I need to get rid of you. And then, hit you one more time. Okay, I need different kind of arrows. Uh, how about ice arrows, huh? Got him. Oh, that did pretty good. That does some good damage to you. And this dude just stopped caring, which is great. I want him to not care. What about these little mushroom tops here? Can I stand on top of this? I can. Ooh, that's gonna be real helpful. A thunder spear, a magical spear that contains thunder from the thundra plateau in its tip. It attacks when the blade glows with a golden light to unleash an electrical attack. I need that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just toss this thing at that guy, I missed, but that's okay, that's okay. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, whoa, he's like, huh, oh, what was that? I mean, I could, whoa, yellow Lizalfos tail. The severed tail of an electric Lizalfos, its powerful stench makes it unappetizing and unfit for cooking, but it's, high, it's highly valued as an ingredient for elixirs. Cool, I'm glad I took it then. This dude does see me, he's gonna come over here, isn't he? All right, we'll deal with you in a moment, don't you worry. I used up a lot of arrows though, I gotta say that much. Oh gosh, ow, 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 ow. Oh, electrolysis, uh, okay, thank you. Okay, I'm glad I had that just sitting around. All right, let's do that. I'm turning around and I'm getting you. And then, wait, wait, wait. Boom, yes, that was good, that was good. Hold on, hold on, I know you're, you're, you're hurting. You're hurting something fierce, I'm swimming the wrong direction. Still not really swimming quite the right direction. Hold on. Bah! Yeah, get out of here, you jerk. All right, you got me another lightning rod. I know it's not the best thing in the world, but I already have one. It's getting old. I'm tossing it. I said I... There it goes. <laughs> I'm just gonna break it then. Hmm. I mean, I want this other rod. These rods are really cool. So what's something that I might be able to toss that isn't that great right now? I don't know. I would say the soldiers claim more. But maybe the cobble crusher. There you go. It broke it. I probably should have thrown it, thrown that at somebody. But uh, for now, boom, got it. Thunder spear. But yeah, there are a number of different places it seems that I can actually stand upon than I initially thought. But yellow lizalfos are scary. They're tough too. 
But I've cleared out the most of this side, so I think I'll be good just to get up here. That'll be good. Let me climb up this way, and then our stamina will refill, and I'm gonna start going up here. Oh boy. I just have to climb nice and steady. Oh, there's a chest, didn't even see that. Well, we have some stuff to do once we get back. Ain't that cool. And there's the other side we can clear out here. And there isn't too much, but I'll make the most of everything. Let's go ahead and get up to this platform. I'm gonna keep it nice and slow. I'm not gonna try to jump up and be overreaching and trying to speed everything up a bit when I could just get up there nice and safely. I don't know if there'll be any kind of battle at the top. There usually is not. But I always gotta be ready for it because this game likes to pull little you know, sneaky stuff out of its sleeve. Like, ha ha, you have this to deal with now, good luck. I think there were only two yellow Lizalfos though, so I could hop back down and take that other Lizalfo spear. It's still there, somewhere. I'm not sure. It's gonna be very nice if it is. But uh, having one is very good as well. It's a very cool looking weapon. We got our fire sword last time, we have our electric spear now. Like, man, things are starting to really work out our way. Hmm. I don't see too much going on over that way. That's okay. I'm just gonna keep climbing up. Keep on climbing up until we get what we want, which is the top of this tower. Ooh, is it it's a flying machine over there now? Huh, it really moves. Okay, I mean, I still don't know like, where I'm supposed to go. Like, I mean, we can t pull up the, the map, the quest menu. It should tell us there. I mean, there's so many things I gotta do. I'm sure I've talked about it in the last couple of episodes and I've just totally thought, forgot about it. But like, we could get towers, shrines, we could do some of the memories. The memories I'm really bad with though, but I'm sure they're helpful to do and continue the game in some way or another. We're gonna climb up, 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 until we get to the top. And then after that, I don't know what we'll do, but I'm sure it'll be great. Okay, come on now. Almost there, I'm gonna jump now. Yeah, we made it, and there's no evil guys to fight me. Oh wait, there is somebody there though. That was weird, that was sort of creepy. I'll talk to them in a moment. First, let me activate the tower, see what ends up happening. Sheikah Tower activated. Awesome stuff. Yeah, look at that guy, he's like, whoa. Doesn't even see me. You think he would notice the tower moving and turning blue underneath him. But hey, you know, we can't all be observant. I mean, I guess we all could be, but scanning area. Let's see how that fills up the map. Hopefully it fills up a generous portion. I love seeing this row of blue towers behind us. You just sort of know what I've been up to. <laughs> okay. There's another bit of it done. Yay, what do we get, what do we get? Ooh, that is a huge chunk of stuff done right there. Very cool. I tell there's tons of uh, different shrines to get to. Regional map extracted. Very cool. And uh, what about you, sir? Don't fall now. Hmm, it's quite high. If only I was a bird man. I don't wanna scare him. <clears throat> Huh, where did you come from? How did you get up here? Though I suppose you could ask me the same question. You see, I have dedicated my life to the study of birdmen. Their flight mechanics fascinate me. Given their weight, it should be physically impossible for them to fly with wings of their size. I just don't get it. I was standing on the ground watching the skies when suddenly this tower erupted beneath my th feet. I've been stuck up here since with no way to get down. Oh my, so he's been up here since our adventure started over a year ago. But my misfortune is a blessing in disguise. You see, this tower is a perfect place to observe birdmen in their natural habitat. Oh my, now that you've climbed up here, how will you get down without falling? I suppose you're stuck here too. I'll just fly down. What? You can fly? You can fly like a birdman? Is that true? I just thought it was, I thought it was impossible for a Hylian to fly like a birdman. Ah, uh, it's more like gliding then. That's still a step in the right direction. If I can analyze your glide distance and trajectory, it may help us understand the science of Birdman flying. Then maybe one day I'll finally realize my dream of becoming a bird. <clears throat> Would you mind participating in a short research study? I wanna see how far you can glide. You'll be compensated for your time and travel depending on how far you fly, so how about it? Sure, free money. Marvelous, our findings today may prove to be the cornerstone of Birdman research for generations to come. However, you are merely gliding, not flying, making this a rather dangerous research pr 
project. As such, a liability fee of 20 rupees will be necessary to proceed. You know, in case I have to file an incident report. Fine, but I better get that back. All right, landing elevation, wind direction, stamina usage. Keep all of these in mind as you consider the farthest destination you can reach by gliding. All right, well, we'll just try to glide as far as we can. If you're ready, let's take to the skies. Birdman research study, go! Okay, so I can just glide. Whoa, 13 meters so far, 30 meters. Okay, so we have to be very specific about this. Because I'm sure as soon as my feet touch the ground, Link's little feet is it all over. Oh, wow, that's why there's this big open corridor this way. I hope I, I mean, I can just teleport back whenever I want. Whee, this is great. I'm having a lot of fun. Maybe I should've went the other way? No, I think this way's better. Okay, well, my stamina is just fine. It's just a matter of extending this flight for as long as possible. There's no way I can really do that too much. And there's tons of bad guys down here. Oh, I gotta be careful. I don't wanna land in some dangerous territory. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I guess that's all I got. Ah, well, right on a stamina at the end. That was still quite the great flying going on there. I liked it, that was fun. Can I please at least earn 20 rupees for that? I would hope so. I had to come back and do that once I earned more stamina. Let's see here. You flew 503 meters. Small steps lead to great strides in the long run. How oh, right, your compensation. Isn't the collection of priceless research data compensation enough? No? Fine, I mean, it would've if you offered that before, but you said that I could, so if not, you'd be a liar. Well, a promise is a promise. Here's your 21 rupees. Ugh, fine, I'll make it 50 rupees, thank you. Jeez, what a jerk. So, if you're still up to it, why not glide down again? The world of a Birdman research waits for no man. I'm done. But if I did that again, maybe I'd be able to earn up another 50 rupees, which would be great, but I'm not interested at the moment. So there's a lot we can still do. I could plop down there and beat up some bad guys. I mean, I definitely want that chest, just to check out what's in it. And then I can teleport back up at any point in time. But now I know there's like tons of things to do, tons of places to go, this guy's coming for me. Uh, I just want normal arrows, please. I don't know where he's going, he's right here. Hey, uh, ow, ow, I dropped the bow. No, wait, where'd it go? I need that. Where'd it go? Oh, I don't know. Oh, you jerk. Oh, you jerk, you're going down. Oh, you're going down. Wait, ow. This is this is a pain in the booty. Luckily, I have that shock resistance, but hold on. Wait, ah, get out of here. Okay, that sort of worked, but it didn't really hit him that much. I think he just destroyed my bow, which is like totally sick. Oh, I do have both of the, the spears. Oh, he can just, wait. Wait, where'd it go? Yeah, okay, I picked it back up. Okay, ow, this guy. Needs to get a hobby that isn't beating me up. Can you like, like, I can't even move. This is dumb. Here, hold on. I'm eating some meat. There you go. Get up here, please. Let me just get up so it's a fair fight. Are you not interested in that? Jeez, what a jerk. Here, ow. Okay, okay. System, no, I'm not gonna load anything. I'm just gonna teleport away because this dude's like, oh, that's not cool. Can I not travel? Oh, I can. I'm getting out of here. What a jerk, like I couldn't even move. What are you supposed to do about that? Nothing, you leave, you teleport away in the middle of battle, because you can do that in this game and it's awesome. Okay, well we're not gonna leave it at that, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep fighting and we're gonna believe in ourselves. <sighs> so all I lost there I think was the Claymore, I hope. <laughs> Whatever, it was 20 damage, it was about to be broken, I couldn't move anything anyways, I wasn't gonna be able to get it back. Anyways, whatever, I don't need that chest that probably just has, I mean, it could have arrows in it though, and I really like having arrows. Oh yeah, um, I forgot to check also. Uh, main quests, free the divine beasts. So that's already on our map. Yeah, the little yellow dot, so, there's one down there and there's one way over here. I want to be able to clear a path for getting there. And once we do that, we probably won't actually go there. We'll just try to figure other things out, but I definitely need some food. So let's figure that out. Um, wait, uh, I just want to go to my inventory. Am I pressing the wrong button? No, uh, there it goes. Okay, I don't know why I'm getting confused with the menus now with how much I have played the game. Uh, there we go, that helps. 
And then what, what sword should I equip again? I'll just do this one. It's cool, I like it, it does 22 damage as well. And it's a spear, so it attacks pretty quickly. So having that much damage with that much speed, you know, the other spear we had was like 25, I mean 25, it was like five damage. So it's like, you get the idea of how much of an upgrade this is. Hmm. But yeah, I'm just gonna try to get to the highest point I can, see if there's any other towers I can get to a bit more easily. And then maybe I could figure out a path to getting to the next quest area. That'll be good, everything will be nice in the world. Hopefully. I'm about out of electric resistance, but hopefully I won't need it for a little while. I'm getting sick of these all, all these electric enemies. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use the boulder breaker. Hopefully this thing has a very high durability so I can break many a boulder, like this one and get an amber one. And if I go over here, I can break that and get more amber. Very cool. Uh. Okay. See some birds flying. This is so pretty. As soon as I think that I'm getting like close to the edge of the map, I I realize I have so much more to explore. This game is so huge. Very cool. There is another tower right there. If I were to go straight that way. Wait, did I unequip the quest? I think I did. Uh, yep, I did. Not what I meant to do. If I went that way, I wouldn't quite get to where I'm going, but it would sure help. There's another shrine down there. That's probably what the game is going off about. I'll glide there in a moment. Let's see if I can't get to the top of this mountain. Where is the highest point? Oh, I think I heard something moving. Well, oh, maybe there's something in here. I don't know, this is a little creepy. There's obviously like a path here. Oh, is this new? No, it's a Stamella shroom. I've gone in the past. But there really isn't anything going on in here. It gets really misty around here. I guess we're just so high up in the air. I don't see anything of interest though. It's just like a nice nature walk, which I can't complain about. That's fantastic. We got healthy radishes. Oh, these are really good. We can cook these so that they give us a lot of health. And then I did see a rock or two I could break over here, correct? Ah, this is where the path leads, actually. Well, it seems like it can at least lead this way. Got an opal, some flint, I can make another fire soon if I needed to. Hmm, okay. And there's another tower. That one's a little too far out of the way. Oh, hi there. Man, this area is so beautiful. I love the mountainous areas. Oh, that's gonna be cold, though. I don't know if our, uh, thing we currently have is gonna be enough. But I don't know how to get up there. You can see it's just a straight up wall. Is there gonna be any way to get over there? Hmm. Seems like there's a path over this way that leads up. But it's gonna be a pain in the booty if I get all the way over there and realize I can't do anything about it. For now, let's go ahead and try to glide to the shrine. What are those two things on the path? Are those bushes? They're just bushes, okay. Even if they were like some kind of weird giant hedgehog monster. And what is that? Can I, I can't use my spyglass while flying down. Oh, it's a horse stable. Very cool. And some ruins. Oh man, I just love gliding. And while I'm doing that sightseeing. Very, very cool. Mm. Of course, we've been over there quite a lot. Over there is, you know, the Mountain of Doom. Way over there is where the, uh, other divine beast is, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, with all of our stamina, we just barely got there. That was a good glide. We got the Manya Toma Shrine. And now we could get over to the horse stable. I don't think that's gonna make anything any easier. I could beat up some bad guys. That's always fun. There that is again. Okay. Maybe it'd be easier to go that way. Cause you can see there's another little mountain. It's always so hard to tell cause like right now it looks like, oh yeah, it looks like I could easily hop up this mountain and glide down. But this actually might be like miles apart. It is always so difficult to tell because of how huge the game is. Oh gosh, we got the big boys. Big boys, gotta be careful. The Merida, Merita Exchange Ruins. Oh, there are definitely some big guys here. Hmm. And also some smaller dudes. Can I move this? Uh, no. But I could m move those with stasis and magnesis. Ooh, that might be helpful. If I'm sneaky about this, I might be able to pull off something impressive. And if not, it'll be really awkward. 
but I'm pretty used to that one. Oh, can I hit you with this? Ready? Oh, I can hit you with it. It didn't hurt you too much. Actually, it just ended up, ow, my face! Wait, wait, wait. Oh no, let's talk about this. That really hurt. <laughs> Holy cow. Um. Oh gosh. Eat some apples. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. How about 17 of them? That might help out a little bit. That's why I think I need a health upgrade. But you guys say I should go for stamina. Oh, uh. Oh no. Oh, did I did I uh, maybe I did lose that bow. That is a shame. Really don't know what I could have done about that. Oh gosh, ready for that? Boom! Right in the noggin. And then hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and wait! Oh gosh! Uh throw it! And then smack it! Don't kick it back! Yeah, what do you think this is? This ain't soccer! This ain't football! Run away! Run away! Ready! Bup! <laughs> that really doesn't do much to you, big guy. Um Hold on, hold on, hold on. I really don't want to have to hit him with one of these, but I'm, ow, oh, that hit me too? Really? Fine, fine, stop. Stop, I didn't even want to focus on that. He's just on fire, just chilling out. What is this? Dragon Bone Boko Spear. This Boko Spear has been strengthened with fossilized bones. The bones are positioned outwards so the fangs bite at the opponent, but where Boko Bones carrying this weapon? Well, Beware me carrying this weapon, because I'm carrying it now. Actually, it doesn't seem that big of a deal. I mean, 12 damage, once again, when you jab, 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 it's pretty good. Also, we're starting a really bad forest fire here. Well, I used Mifa's Grace. I probably should save now. No, I have the chance before things get nasty. Uh, I really don't know if I should continue this way with these guys. Maybe this is a little bit out of my ability right now, my scope. But if I could just sneak up on him and smash a crate on him, not only would that be so funny, like from here, he shouldn't be able to see me much, right? Or does he just immediately piece it together? It looks like he does. Stop, 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 stop. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Boom! That really doesn't do much, does it? Okay, wait. Oh, go for him. Maybe I just gotta beat him at his own game. He's trying to kick me. Oh boy. Whoa, the camera's not moving with me right now? Wait, Flurry Rush? What, what is this? What is, I've never seen that before, that was so cool. Uh, okay, Light, wait, wrong way. Wait, I'm just trying to look at the dude. There we go, ooh, he is just on the floor, he's like, yikes, that hurt. Ready, big slam, I missed, again. It's really embarrassing when that happens. Hold on, Wah! Okay, it looks like uh, I got more prote protection from Daruk, I really need all those. I really need all that help. Oh my gosh, has the fire stopped over here? It has. Uh, I don't think these big old, I mean, I could try to break them and see if they have anything inside. Pretty sure they don't though. But that's why they're all squished. Like, oh wait, an arrow! Oh, five arrows! They do have things occasionally. Well, that's, that's what I'm looking for then. Boop. Give me more arrows. Give me rupees, sure. They don't care much about the rupees. Oh man. That could actually be game changing for me then. Uh, I also need to use him for like stealth purposes. Roasted bass, blue rupees. Oh, that's a ton. That's great. Didn't the blue ones give five? And the red ones give 10 or something? I don't know, we just got a lot of rupees. How much, 662? Yeah, we just had 600. Ooh, profitability. Blackened crab, sort of creepy. I don't like crabs, but that's okay. If I can eat it to restore some health, that'd be great. So now I have nine, well these are bomb arrows. I have 11 normal arrows, ooh wee. And there's a big tower over there. Ready, yep, gotcha. Try to get back up. Don't try to get back up. Uh, whoa, whoa, I'm wasting these arrows big time. Here, hold on, hold on. Let me go ahead and switch. I mean, this would hurt you a lot, but. Ah, go for him, go for him, go for him. Oh, we're jabbing him up. Oh no, the electricity's gone. I mean, I think it comes back. I just gotta be careful in the meantime. Wait, flaming attack, wow, that is so cool. Okay, so I don't wanna waste that a ton though. Like I'm trying to save all these big weapons for later. Hmm. We'll go ahead and use the club here to break this. Oh, it's badly damaged, so next time I see an enemy, I'm tossing that thing at him. I think it does double damage when you throw something like that, so it'd be very useful. Got an arrow. Is my bomb still over there? 
No. Okay. Guess after you get far enough away. Hmm. So there's this dude over here. If I could just toss this at him before he even knows it. Wah! And then, boop! And that gets him good. He's not a big dude, so. I, <laughs> ooh, that was a perfectly timed block there. That was totally by accident. Go ahead, jab at him, jab at him, jab at him, knock him down, and then go for him. Wait, wait, don't get back up. Don't get back up. Get back down. Get back down. Come on. Boom. And now I'm gonna go ahead and switch to this and then just start slicing and dicing. Ow. Don't get rid of my golden hearts. They're beautiful. Is that the same thing as I have here? Yes. Okay. I don't have to worry about picking it up. Okay, well, we're making some progress one way or another. I mean, I just enjoy exploring in this game. Even if like, I don't make any progress with the main areas and stuff, I mean, I try to. Uh, it's just fun to explore these things and accomplish them. Whatever I may be accomplishing. I'll explore that tower soon, too. But uh, for now, I'm trying to get arrows. I'm trying to beat up bad guys. Break these boxes, which surely seems to uh, get to lots of loot. It seems like I've gotten rid of all the big dudes. Just one more uh, normal bokeh blend here. Another piece of food. Sea bass. So he doesn't see me. I could go ahead and hit him like that. And then he turns around and he's like, what was that? Boom, wait, wait, don't you dare. I probably shouldn't be using this weapon though. Oh yeah, that's right, I wanted to toss this to somebody. Well, it's you. Oh, that looked like it hurt. What do you got here? Oh, the dragon bone Boko Bat. Used by only the toughest Boko Blood warriors, this Boko Bat has been fortified by fossilized bone. It boasts high durability and is strong enough to beat down powerful foes. Looks like it. It looks like it's just a direct upgrade to what I just had, which is fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and boop, break that stuff. Got myself an apple. Was that a cooked apple here? Acorn, never mind, not a cooked apple. Pretty good though, pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and just drop this so I don't have to use the durability of anything. Oh, did that break whatever was inside though? I oh, don't know, it just all went flying maybe? Oh, then that's not a good strategy. Don't do that again. And it's raining, which is not good. That is not good at all. But hey, maybe I can spend this time climbing up and finding whatever else we can. There's actually no way to get up here. How did they get up? Maybe that's why none of them were in the tower because they all fell out. There's like no way to get up here. Hmm. Oh, maybe I have to hit a trap somewhere to make the... There's no drawbridge or anything. I'd imagine that there have been other areas that have been like that, but I guess this isn't one of them. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea how to get up there. Oh well, I mean, it'd be great to get up there to get the free stuff, can I just climb up the tree? Oh, maybe this is how. Uh, well, maybe not this one. Maybe there's one that's closer to the ledge. I don't know, I think that, you just can't get up here. That'd be weird though. I can't climb up through the center. That is just bizarre. No, that doesn't work, you just dunk his noggin on the top. Oh, I don't know, that's really weird. Like this one could maybe work, but also at the same time, it definitely won it. <laughs> okay, I waste enough time on it. The only thing I could see, no, there's, this one is definitely too far away to glide over to it, so that's not gonna work. Can I pick this up? I can. All right, is there anything in the well? Doesn't look like it. Oh, bug, I wanna get the bug, if it's question mark. Electric Darner, this red dragonfly appears only in the rain. It, its wings direct electricity away from its body. Cook it with monster parts for an electricity resistance elixir. Very cool. Might be helpful just to make my own then. Well, don't worry, Mr. Fox, I'm not gonna get you. I'm not gonna be mean. But yeah, this rain is ruthless. Luckily, rain won't you know negatively affect you when it comes to climbing up ladders, I don't think. Oh boy, there is some bad guys here though. Might wanna be careful with how I do this. Oh wow, there's yeah more competition here than I was expecting. I mean, I could. It doesn't do much, this isn't as much of a viable strategy as it used to be. Uh, I might wanna go ahead, I have a powerful bow. I need like a good old fire arrow. Oh, he's on fire now. And then I could just, no, 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 that's fine. I just need to change my weapon a little bit. I mean, for now, I could try the Boko Bat. Ready, boom, the only problem here is I'm really, really outnumbered. Uh. So I just gotta be careful with how I do this. Woo hoo hoo, that hurt. Uh, problems, 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 problems. Oh, here's the blackened crab. 
so creepy. But it restores health, which is good. Okay, so you are going down. Now it's not as outnumbered, but it still is. Oh boy, hold on, hold on. Up, and then hold on, wait. Wait, oh gosh. Huh. Uh, stop running over here. Jeez, what a jerk. I'm gonna need another bass. And then I'm gonna just drop this. Wait, stop chasing me! <laughs> no, this is not what I wanted. It chased right after me too, where is he? Okay, oh, I'm out of stamina. Problems, got him! Hit him again! I got him! One more time, one more time! Yeah, we got him, he's out of here! Holy cow, ding, ding, ding! The match is over. See if he's victorious. What a, what a strange amount of events there. Okay, where's the stuff they may have dropped? It looks like it's all over here. Oh, they got stuff everywhere. And none of it's, none of it's arrows. It's all I ever want is arrows. By the way, for, I don't know if another red moon has ra risen or not. I really hope it has. Oh, maybe I could start a fire. That'd be nice. Let's get up here, get our chest. This better have something good. Like 30 arrows, that'd be good. Topaz, oh thanks I guess. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of that beehive. I don't know if that was a huge mistake or not. I guess not. Okay, so if I, uh, well the fire won't start because it's in the rain, right? That might be the case. What about under here? Do I have protection from the rain? Not at all. Okay, was hoping it would cast some kind of shadow. That's not the case. Hmm, I'm just trying to look around now. I'm trying to also get on the ladder, which you would think wouldn't be that difficult, but here I am. So the stamina refills on the ladder, which is really nice. So I can just climb back up and jump, climb back up and jump. Oh geez, be careful though, <laughs> don't fall down the ladder because I get too tired. Oh! Oh, I could have just, I could have just. Oh! Well, it's not a shame. Oh well. <laughs> I caused a huge forest fire again. Gotta stop doing it. Hey, look at that! <laughs> I didn't have to use my flint. That's perfect. Here, let's go ahead and do something like this. And then I'm gonna cook all these. This is gonna be spicy apples. If anything, it'll maybe make it resistant to the cold. Spicy simmered fruit. That'll be pretty good. Uh, beyond that, I'm gonna go ahead and just cook. Maybe I could just do one apple at a time. I don't know if that'll work. Uh, simmered fruit. It might just be easier to find a normal fire for that kind of stuff. Oh, another Boko bat. Let me check this out, 36 damage. What are my like other clubs? I think I'll keep it, because this is a sword. Like, it's quicker, as you can see. That's cool. Uh, hmm. Well, I could continue on with my goal, which was to try to find a way up here. And you can tell it is cold up there. That's for sure. It doesn't seem like there's a proper way to get up there. I mean, I'm sort of tempted. If I go back to the tower, I don't know if that'd be exactly quicker. But there's just a straight up canyon in the way. I mean, I could try to explore, ah, ah, skeletons. Why am I running into battles? One battle after another. Get out of here right now, sirs. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Whoop, oh, whoop. Oh. Can you stop? Wait, nah, not happening. <laughs> oh gosh, are there skeleton bodies attacking me? Not quite, good. I'll go ahead and grab all these fangs and stuff. They can sell pretty well sometimes. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, I see an insect. I got the restless cricket. Thank you, Mr. Cricket. You're mine now. So we're going back to the camp over here. Obviously, I took everybody out and sort of got everything I could get except for the actual uh, tree. I'm gonna climb up it. But it seems like you see how there's a bit of a gap where I can maybe potentially jump over. But climbing up the rest is where the real challenge lies. Maybe this is where I'll find my biggest fork in the road, you know? And I'll have to. Ah! Oh gosh, that was scary. I just thought I fell to my doom. Uh, maybe I'll have to go get some shrines. Whoa, there it is! Ask and you shall receive the blood moons coming! Which, I don't know if that's very good right now because I just defeated all these dudes. Quickly, hold on, before it gets here, I wanna destroy, does it also replenish everything that you can find in these areas? Because if so, I'm gonna go ahead. Wait, why is it saying that as if I've never found it before? I found this place before. Maybe it just tells you that every time you enter an area. Let's go ahead and get that purple rupee. Nice, okay, hopefully these areas replenish because I can get back over there and get even more stuff. 750 
three rupees. Very cool. Okay, that 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 is just so bright and creepy looking. I love it, but also, oh my. Hmm. It feels like it just ends here though, you see? And then you can just go across, but once again, I might just, oh, what do you guys want? Leave me alone, if you fight me, I'll fight you, but if you leave me alone, hey, hey, leave me alone. All right, we got Serene Stable. I might go ahead and just take a nap. Ooh, I'm tempted to take that iron sledgehammer that's just sitting up there for grabs. Oh, look at the doggy, so cute. Can I talk to you? Hi. Welcome on to our stable. Uh, no, I think I can, t I can buy things from you on the other side. Hello, everybody, what is this? Flint, that's nice. Ooh, soldier's bow, huh? How much stronger is the soldier's bow compared to this? Okay, not that strong. Oh, these guys are talking. L bones, uh, my theory is that the Leviathans of ancient times went extinct to an extended ice age. My theory is that the Leviathans of ancient times went extinct to a violent volcano volcanic eruption. My theory is that the Leviathans of ancient times went extinct due to a sudden cataclysmic drought long ago. Oh, pardon me, I've gotten ahead of myself. <clears throat> But why did the Levi Leviathans go extinct? That is the question we scientists are trying to answer. However, we haven't yet located any Leviathan remains, so we're stuck with theories for the time being. But we do have a general idea of where such remains might be found. The Elden Mountains in the northeast, the in the northeast, the Heber region in the northwest, and the Garuda, Garuda region in the southwest. Maybe you're all correct. The climates of these regions are rather extreme. You've got the look of someone who's done a fair bit of adventuring. Why, would you be willing to find these Leviathan bones and draw a picture of them? What I, what I especially want to see is the head of the animal. If you can get just a bit of it in the picture, that'd be adequate. Do this for me and I'll give you 300 rupees. Leave it to me. Excellent, you're a lifesaver in the most literal sense. I'll be waiting here with th with your 300 rupees. Very cool. And more excitingly, got some peppers over here. I wanna take those spicy peppers. Wait, I forgot one. There it is. Okay, so maybe we could take a nap. That way we can heal up. Apparently if we use a fancy bed, we can even get bonus hearts and that sounds tempting. Uh, hey oh, hey oh. Wait, first of all, can I talk to you? Oh, you're napping. Uh, hmm, you? I'm sorry, but have we met somewhere? But yeah, we have, you paint everywhere. Uh, have you ever heard of a great fairy mountain? They say that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have found multiple. Sadly, I've had to find one, but I heard a rumor recently that there was one near Kakariko. I know, I've already been there. I don't know why he's trying to tell me about that. Oh, you're the shopkeeper. I got that mixed up. Wow, never thought I'd see you here. You must really enjoy my company. What are you looking for, or are you selling? What have you got? Uh, arrows, ooh, they're always tempting. I don't know if I should dump all of my cash on arrows right now, though. Uh. Look what I've got. Hmm. What could I sell? And there's a number of things I could sell. But I don't know if any of it's worth selling. I mean, all these rocks, maybe 210 each for the rubies. I just don't know if I really need to right now. I could wait. I think I'll wait. I don't think it's gonna disbenefit me for to wait. Oh, we can get a lot of money for food. Uh, goodbye. I mean, there isn't too much I desperately need rupees for at the moment. Here comes that blood moon. Uh, what will happen if I go to bed? Uh, soft bed. Sleep until morning. Rest well. Okay, wait, is this the blood moon or is this me sleeping? Both. <laughs> will I wake up and the blood moon have path passed or what? Oh, there it is. Good morning, world. <laughs> this is exactly what I want to see on a Tuesday morning. The blood moon rises again. She's saying it for me, but I want to say it too. So we're saying it together. Well, here we go again. I think that cutscene changes all, every once in a while too, which is pretty cool. Okay, there's all of our health back. Good morning, hope you enjoyed your stay. Of course I did, I'm on air. I don't know how much that was also. I just sort of chose it. Hmm. Okay, well we're gonna travel this way. I don't know if there's anything worthwhile here. Doesn't look like there's any towers or shrines or nothing, but if I could find even just one shrine, that'll make it very worth it. This is where maybe I should have gotten a horse, but I don't know if you noticed, but it's too late. I mean, I could just teleport back to the shrine and glide down, but uh oh. Oh, you again? Oh, you again? I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Yeah, that was pretty easy. These guys I'm getting used to. 
They beat me up a little bit towards the beginning of the, uh, today's episode, but I'm a change zebra by the end of it. What are these in the distance? Like I got some birds here. But what are those things? Oh, it's just a fence with grass on it. Looked weird from a distance. So this is an abandoned house? Maybe there mo were multiple houses given the fence? Oh, there's a sword here? Yeah, there's a couple. There's another one over there. Oh wow, okay, somebody's fighting that person. Rusty Claymore is the same amount of damage. 12 damage isn't much for a sword, so I'm not gonna take it. All right, I'll help, I'll help you. Is this a, yeah, this is a black Bokobo. Or black Bokoblin. I don't know, so many different names for everything. Jab him up, help me out, help me out, my friend. Okay, I got another one, don't worry. I have multiple. <laughs> Come on, keep jabbing him, keep jabbing him. Avasti. Oh, boom. Okay, come on. No, you. yeah, you ain't doing that. Yeah, I'm gonna take that really quickly and then smack you across the face. What do you think you're doing? That innocent bystander. You didn't drop anything? Jeez, I mean, I guess I already got his thing. Hi there. I see you can handle yourself in a fight, so can I. Most of the time, are you the person we saved earlier? I wish I had more to give you than this, but times are tough all over, right? Is this a deja vu? Uh. I'm so embarrassed you had to go and rescue me again. Ah, uh, anyway. I haven't given up my search for that Kilton guy and his fang and bone, but I haven't gotten anywhere yet either. One source I trust says he's most often found at the skull-shaped lake in Akala, but I don't know the place. So she just walks around and gets trapped by Pokeblins. I don't know, she doesn't seem as good of a fighter as she's saying she is. Ooh. Is this a, this might be a thing. I think I need to put it here. Never mind. See, so like how they were parallel with the road, but this one wasn't. It was in the center of the road. I thought that maybe that was like, you know, gonna make a square with them, but no. <clears throat> okay, well, we can end this way for now and see what else is going on. Is that a snake? Or that's a squirrel's tail. I was gonna say I've never seen a snake in this game. There's the deer. Well, I love the wildlife in this game. Look at this. We're gonna go uh, nature, nature observing with zebra. Please don't walk off the cliff. <laughs> I'm constantly stressing out about the animals. I hope you're doing okay. Oh, here's some wolves. I'm not gonna deal with you. And then we're the ones who get attacked. We spend all this time getting worried about the animals. We're the ones who get attacked. Ooh. Maybe this is one of the uh, bones. The uh, guys were talking about. Look at this. Holy cow. These are quite the fossils. Can't do much about it, but wow. Hold on. Side quests, Leviathan Bones. If I were to do that, these aren't one of them. But does it mark that on our map anywhere? I guess not, we're just supposed to figure out where they are on our own. Uh, maybe I could take a picture of this though. Maybe I should. Uh, I forgot how to take a picture with things. Uh, oh no, I just used the sensor, right? Maybe not? I totally forgot it's right here. Uh, well. So I can just go ahead and take a photo of this stuff. Maybe I want to get a little closer, delete. Oh, I like this. Oh, and we can do a selfie. <laughs> I should start doing that a little more often, shouldn't I? Uh, for now, there you go. Save, I don't know if we'll need those, but just in case, right? Never be too careful. Now I wanna take a picture now. I wanna, I wanna go ahead and do a self-portrait, but I wanna do it, uh, hold on. All the wrong buttons. I wanna go ahead and uh, unequip our helmet at the least. I think it would be cool if we uh, equip, equip. I mean, we're probably gonna need to put on the doublet soon enough, so might as well do something like that. I wanna take a picture. <laughs> our pants look funny, but uh, go like this. Self-portrait, something like this. Can I change our pose? Oh wait, oh you can, yeah. <laughs> That's great, landscape shot, no, self-portrait. Zoom in. Like that, oh, perfect. <laughs> I love it, uh, capture. Beautiful, can I get like a full view of it? Uh, night shield, hold on. How can I see the full photo? Uh, I think I gotta go here, album, looks great. I don't like how it's all liney though. Like I wish there was a way I could see it without all the scan lines. I don't know if that's the case, like if there's any way to possibly do that. I don't like that. Hmm, oh well. I was hoping we could use that for pictures for the videos, but uh, I guess we can't though, because there's no way to see it without it being, can I take that picture? I don't know. Uh, 
It's a good picture. <laughs> uh, let's uh, put our stuff back on. I mean, I'll keep, I guess, that combo of things. I mean, this gives me the most shielding, I guess. Well, no, that gives 13. No, no, okay, no, this has 11. 13, 13. Okay, this will give you the most shielding out of everything, it seems. So maybe this is the best. But yeah, I wish I could have saw that photo without the scan lines. Yeah, it just seems like the canyon ends here, so I guess this is, this is our way to get over. And we have to walk all the way back around. Quite the detour. Wasn't expecting that, but you know, sometimes a, a, a Link's gotta do what a Link's gotta do. I was gonna say a Zelda's gotta do, and then people would've gotten mad at me. Maybe they'll get mad at me anyways now. Hmm, there really isn't much in this area. It's just a big old open field. And we've already gotten that shrine. That was the shrine that uh, the horse stable's at. Hmm. But yeah, the canyon, whatever it is, just ends right here. Which I guess is convenient for me. Are you in trouble again, lady, or are you somebody else? I have no clue. Oh, uh, we might have to fight you. I'm lost. Excuse me, do you know which way I should go if I wanted to get to the Gerudo Desert? Gerudo Desert. I don't know. Really, that's unfortunate. I know it's in the south direction, southwest direction anyway. Oh, you aren't Link, are you? <laughs> Your life is mine. Ay, 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 every time, every stink, I can't make a single friend in this entire game. Have an arrow, where are you? Blup, gotcha. Oh, you know, these guys are a lot easier now. I say that, but then they disappear. Wait, don't you dare hit me with that. Whoop, ow, rude. Come here, come here, come here, wait. Don't go! How am I gonna beat you up if you go? Oh, I want that sickle. Actually, no, I don't. Not very damaging. Oh, tons of food! Tons of food. Awesome. That was worthwhile. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, they're so silly every time. Don't know why they even try that. I guess just to catch you off guard. But it never works. It never, ever works. They used to be scary at first, especially when like every other person was like, I'm going to destroy you and consume your soul. But now it's just like every once in a while. And you can always see it coming out there. They always have the same like get up or the same look to them. Can you get back out of here? And it's like, what are you doing? You attacked me first, so I'm taking your tentacles. Oh, hey, hey, I forgot about you. <laughs> I'll take it, get those jellies. If they attack me first, it's all fair game. I feel bad for the innocent animals that I, you know, take out because like, what did I do to them? What did they do to me? Nothing. And I'm here attacking them, that's awful. Hmm. The clouds are moving quick around here, though. Oh, shrine nearby. Where is that shrine? Because if it's down there, I'm not gonna be too interested in getting it, because I'd have to climb all the way back up, if that's at all possible, with my current amount of stamina. I think it's down there. Oh, it's looking like it's down there, all right. I mean, I'm gonna hope not. It actually doesn't look like it would be too bad to climb back up. What in the world is going on here? It's like a building covered in stone. I don't know where the shrine is, but my shrine detector is given up. Oh, well, I might be able to see it from a different, oh. The protection is now ready to roll. Yeah, ready to roll. Okay, well I got the Rook's protection. I do not see the shrine though. Where could it be? Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> you aren't that bad to hit, like, I just hit you twice and you're gone. It's just so funny, they're, they show up so often, but they're so weak. But yeah, I don't see it down here. Weird. I mean, it might just be like under a rock or really just tucked away. I'm sure I'll find it eventually. I don't know if I should make a marker here or not. I mean, I'm, it's not really the end of the world if I don't get every single shrine. I'd be happy if I complete this game at all, to be honest with you. It's a very long game, but yeah, this is definitely seems to be the way you're supposed to do this. Also, we're going north. She was saying that Gerudo Desert is southwest, so I guess that's Gerudo Desert. That sounds cool. Gerudos are different than the people at uh, the Mountain of Doom, right? Or are they Gerudos? I always forget. I don't know. Uh, well, it's raining, but we're making a way over. I still don't see that shrine, but there is that tower. Is, is that the tower I'm trying to get to? Oh boy. So is this too cold for me? Oh hey! Are you gonna try to destroy me too? Hello. Hi. 
Hey, buddy. Me? Oh, you're so cute. Yeah, we've, we've dealt with you. Want to spend some time with me? I refuse. Uh. What, but why? Don't you like me? If you do, please close your eyes. No, I don't like you. You're so mean. Well then, Hylian champion, now time for you to die. <laughs> oh, okay. Come on, I just dealt with one of you guys like a couple of feet ago. You know what? Here. Oh, I'm starting to take damage. It is too cold here. Oh, I need to get the warm dew blood on. That might help. There we go. That did help raise my temperature a little bit. Oh, I donked in the noggin there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some of that. Oh, hey, here's somebody with a horse. Don't tell me you're another evil guy. Cause it's all I'm taking your horse. Yummy, yummy shrooms, ooh. You look like some, like you know your way around a sword, but how good are you with a shield? You should consider heading over to the small cabin on Hebra East Summit to experience the highs of shield surfing. Would you like to browse my selection of specialty mushrooms? Show me your goods. I'm quite proud of my assortment of shrooms. Take your time looking. Okay, <laughs> anything else? Goodbye. I'm not really interested in mushrooms, gotta be honest. See it. I'm still taking damage. I'm still not warm enough. Oh, I wonder what I need. I mean, of course, right now I do have, where was it? I have two of these. I can eat one right now. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, and that'll, that'll help me for six minutes. We better get that tower quick. Whoa, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a, a, a moose. It's a moose. Oh, that's so cool. Please don't attack me. Oh, you're so, you're giant, but you're so peaceful. I love it. Just to be admired. Oh my, is that a bear or is that a, 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 a hog? I don't know. Uh, hello, sir. Oh, he's running. Okay, I'll leave him be, I'll leave him be. Wow, everything's so pretty around here. It stinks that a lot of the time it seems as though I, uh, Maybe if I get these pants off, because maybe these pants just reduce our internal temperature. What if I just went ahead and did? No, that didn't really change anything. Uh, interesting, I don't know if there's supposed to be something specific I'm supposed to get for this area, but I've learned enough, of course, to know that I can just use these foods, food items. It'd be cool if I could run into another place to cook soon. It feels like I'm walking slower in the snow. That's something to keep in mind as well. What do you want? Go bother someone else. So maybe I should go back to the path? Might be smarter. For now though, you know, I might as well use as much stamina as I can while I'm just casually running around. We've made a lot of progress in today's episode, that's for sure, we're almost wrapped up. I just wanna see how close I can get to this tower in an hour and a half. We made some good, we already got one tower, you know, so things have been working out just fine. Uh, let me go ahead and get this, just because. Maybe it'll give me more flint, which may prove to be helpful in an area like this, if I can make another fire. This guy is so cool, he's running away, he's like a rhinoceros, which is interesting, because this is not typically a place you'd find a rhinoceros. I feel like there's actually two flying things, because this sort of looks a little bit different than the other flying thing, but maybe it's just the ankle. There's also a horse stable here, I'm sure you saw, by that giant horse face. Uh, there's apparently a shrine nearby as well, very nearby. Don't know exactly where, but I would love to get it. That way I have a teleportation spot. That way if I do need to skedaddle, it's not the biggest deal in the world. But going this way seems to be making it more active. Yeah, it's weird, this area is so flat, you'd think I wouldn't have a hard time finding anything, but here I am looking around for the shrine. Hmm. I don't quite see him, maybe it's behind something. Uh, hey everybody here is chilling out. The snowfield stable. What are these? Uh, wild berries, a fruit that grows in the cold, snowy regions known for its tangy, sweet flavor. It doesn't have for any special effects, but it's popular cooking ingredient. Very cool. Um, go ahead and pick some of that up. There are some stuff to you know cook off, cook up some basic things if I wanted to do that. Oh, I'm gonna take all of this wood. Okay, oh look at the doggy rolling around, aren't you cute? Ah, oh, it's right here. Oh, that's quite convenient. Can I break these? A wild berry. And chickaloo tree nut. Small birds love this nut. You can eat it raw for a minor effect, but it can also be added as a spice to other recipes. Cool stuff. So here's the shrine. Once again, I'm not incredibly interested in actually taking it as much as I am uh, just trying to get the teleport. The thing is, is it feels like it's getting even colder around here. And 
I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Whoa. If his grace is ready, cool. So all I wanna do is get on the top of that tower, but that might be a quite quite the battle. Uh, for now, if I wanna make a really easy combo for a lot of frost resistance food, just do apple and spice over and over again. Skip it. There we go. I don't know if that's any quicker or not, but that should have made, I didn't actually look. Uh, yep, made more frost resistance. So I'm gonna do that like two or three times. I feel like that'd be a big help right now. Because right now it's not about the healing amount. Okay, I got a mushroom in there. Oh boy, that doesn't make total mess. I didn't really mean to do that, but uh. uh yeah, spicy simmered fruit. Only three minutes. So I'm guessing, of course, the more I add, the longer it'll be. But I don't mind it being short bursts of a couple minutes. That's still helpful for me. What is this here? This is just a soldier spear and a soldier shield. Not too helpful, but if I was totally out in weapons, it would be, you know, something. Which is why, you know, these uh, horse stables are always super great. All right, there's that one. I really don't think it's faster to do it that way. Spice simmered fruit. And we're gonna do one more. That way we have a good, like, 15 or so minutes of just being able to run around in here. Okay, yeah. I don't know if anybody around here will have some suggestions. Like, he might even sell some, like, frost elixirs. He is cold, though. Yeah, we made again. I didn't really dress for the weather here, but the world needs beetles, goods. What are you looking for, or are you selling? What have you got? Um, you do not sell anything specific for this area. Would have been great if you did. I wanna see if like maybe one of these people has like a suggestion. Oof, it's freezing. It must be so great. You do know what I'm talking about, right? Not a clue. Uh, I'm talking about the sword that steals the darkness, of course. Legend has it that it's, seal it's hidden somewhere in Hyrule. A single swing shoots out of sacred, li sacred light beams, mows down wicked monsters and restores peace and stuff. Ah, oh, it's, it's every dreamer's dearest dream come true, I tell ya. Cool, we'll get it eventually. Hello. A traveler, eh? Can you spare a minute to listen to a bored old retiree tell a story? What kind of story? When you get to be my age, you start reminiscing about all the memories from your childhood. <laughs> to be honest, growing up out in the middle of nowhere, well, there weren't really any, really other kids around. My only friends were Harry and Mary. I remember playing with Harry out in the maze and Mary out by the ruins. Tell me about Harry. There's an enormous maze beyond the Tabantha Tundra, just north of here. I don't know who built it or when. The adults always said not to go near it. They said it was too dangerous there. One day, I urged Harry to go into the maze as a test of courage. I, I never saw him again. I learned the hard way that it really is dangerous there. Children have no real sense of danger, I suppose. To this day, there the mere memory breaks my heart. Oh, that's so sad. A traveler, eh? Yeah, I want to hear about Mary now. What happened? Did you also lose Mary forever? Uh. Tell me about Mary. Maybe you've been seen the big canyon to the southeast. There are some secret ruins down at the base of that valley. I don't know who built them or when. The adults say not to go near. They said it was too dangerous to go there. One day, Mary and I went there to explore and search the ruins. In the blink of an eye, Mary lost her footing. She slipped and tumbled, and I, I never saw her again. Man, this guy's life is full of heartbreak. Sometimes a child, yeah, okay. That memory will haunt me until my dying day. As I grew older, I learned to overcome my grief of l over losing them. You can't change the past, only the future. Harry and Mary never made it back, but two of their descendants are in, this, in that stall over there. My only friends out in these parts were the horses you see. I suppose, oh no! I suppose that's still true to this day. That is so sad, I'm gonna cry. They weren't people, they were horses. No! What do you want? Are you an evil person? I don't think so. I have traveled to the east and to the west of, in my great hunt for information and now I find myself here in the freezing north. I heard there was a stall horse in this area, but I can't take it any longer. It's too cold to look anymore. A stall horse? Beep beep. You just set off Junoel's intuition centers. You're interested in the stall horse too, huh? I just wanted to see the, the creepy stall horse monster once with my own eyes. If it really does exist, it'd be such a big scoop. But, well, I can handle all kinds of dangers and hazards, but this cold, purr, I can't stand it. Can you handle this task for me? I'll even reward you. All I need is a picture or some notes. I can do it. Good answer. There's a rumor that it can be found in the, with Stalkablins in the North Tabantha Snowfield. 
Some have reported it all the way back to the other side of the snowfield to the east, right in front of the bizarre ruins. Good luck, I'm really counting on you. Nobody's telling me any information on how I can uh, warm up around here. Welcome, will you be staying with us? Uh, never mind. I really don't need to. Oh, I haven't talked to you. Uh, why do some people equate the unnecessary pursuit of power with some childish dream of adventure? The sword may be good for slaying monsters, sure, but it's not like a sword alone makes a hero, you know? I love adventure. <laughs> huh? Oh, I guess you did venture all the way out, uh, out to a stable in the mountains, didn't you? Well, uh, if the sword that steals the, seals the darkness or whatever it's called really exists, I hope a kind of swordsman like you will be able to be will be the one who wields it. Well, thank you, Harlow. You're nice. Nobody has advice on how to guard against the cold around here. All I did was waste a bunch of time. Oh, there's more bones. I'm gonna take a picture of those as well, just in case, because I really don't know what these are the bones he's talking about. Don't remember what Leviathans really are. No, that's just, that's just Los Alfos, there ain't no bones. What are you doing over here? You trying to fool me? Oh, I've been playing for a fool. Wait, no, I just messed up the sword. Come on, I want it to be all flaming and stuff, but come on, come on. Ready? Ah, there we go. Ooh, that got you good. Icy Lizalfo's tail. The severed tail of an ice breath Lizalfo's. Its hard scales and flesh make it unsuitable for cooking, but it's perfect for making elixirs. And then also the tail in here, and then this is just a knight's halberd. What in the world was that? Uh, oh, it's, ow! Dude, yeah, oh, I reflected it. Thank you to Rook, we got the Chilfin Trout. This blue trout prefers cold bodies of water. Its skin contains enzymes that keep its body cool, and when cooked into a dish, it will temporarily boost your heat resistance. Very, very cool. We are still a while away from the tower, though we've done a ton of exploring in today's episode, but it looks like it will have to continue in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If you watch this one video, make sure you comment cold zebra so I know you've watched the end, and that you are a zebra tower. Ask a viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.